road trip time. Just got off of work, about to top off on fuel. When I get home, the trip meter will be at about 8.9 miles. Got to pack up, shower, be on the road by about midnight. 28 miles per gallon. This is from my work week, two weeks. A few errands in there, 216 miles traveled, 28 mpg. 37 PSI up front, 33 in the back. That's the recommended pressure. Normally I go 40, all four tires, but I'll go recommended this time. I don't think it helps that much to go 40 PSI all around 65 mile range. I really wanted that to be on the last block before I topped off. Gonna try something a little different today. This car recommends 91 octane turbo but you could use 87 octane so today I'm going to put 87 in this car and see how my fuel economy suffers. The last two times I did this trip I got 39.2 mpg and then the next time I got 40.2 mpg so let's see how off I am going 87 octane. Four dollars and nine cents a gallon for 91. 359 for 87 10 gallon tank so I'm saving about four or five dollars going 87 instead of 91 let's see if it's worth it and here here it is right here 91 octane recommended 87 octane minimum first time I'm trying 87 two click method as always One, two, and 87 octane, 8.159 gallons added. Actual fuel economy, 26.58, so it was a little off, but that's why I always do the math. Now let's go ahead and reset this. And by the time I get home, it'll have 8.9 miles on the trip. So I'll report back when I head out. About to hit the road right now. 8.9 miles traveled. That's from filling up at work. I still have two temperature blocks left. 49.4 mpg. Hyper mild on my way home. And... My drive home is a slight decline, so I'm able to put it in neutral a lot. So I'll check back when I'm at around 60 miles. That's the 50 mile mark. 370 mile drive with that 8.9 miles. Okay, I got a slight decline right now, so real quick. In sport mode, this car has 18 PSI of boost. So let's see if I get 18 right now like 18. So all the boost is still there. Even with 87 octane. Strange. The car's running fine too. The car's running nice and smooth. I don't... doesn't feel like it's knocking or anything. Fuel economy is, is the same. All my boost is available. We'll just have to see at the end of the trip if I get 39 to 40 mpg driving exactly the same way I think I just beat my last two trips with 87 octane two trips ago I had half a block left last trip I had one block left I have two blocks left from 87 octane I'm pretty surprised right now. 370.1 miles traveled, 5 hours and 53 minutes of travel time, and 101 miles of range left according to the trip meter predictor. Alright, let's see it. Let's see it. 44.4 mpg, I predict I'm going to get 41.5. Alright.
different gas station this time. Since I saw that I have two blocks left, I actually went to Chevron. I like Chevron or Shell, but my last two trips I had to go to Arco because I wasn't sure how much fuel I had left. I didn't want my fuel pump to get too hot. I believe in that. I believe that if you let your fuel go too low, it's bad for the fuel pump. Two click method, as always. Supreme victory. 419 a gallon. 8.557 gallons added. Actual fuel economy. 43.25. Got better fuel economy with 87 than I did with 91. I'm still going to put 91 in my car. 91's recommended. 87 minimum, but there you have it. I drove exactly the same way, and I got better fuel economy. All the boost was still available. I wish I had access to a dyno, so I could actually dyno this car with 87 and 91 to see how much the difference is, but I just got better fuel economy with 87. What's your theory? <laughs> like, is it a big deal? Should you just go with the minimum that's recommended? I'm still going to put 91. I feel like my car will last longer with 91. I had a supercharged car before, and it, it uh, required 91. So modern technology, I'm pretty sure the computer compensates for it, but I'm still going to put 91 in my car. It's only $4 extra. The only difference this time around is fresh oil change but did it really help my fuel economy by 3 mpg